Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I got a kitten. <laughs> Today I'm going to start off with my eyes. Because that's all we're doing pretty much is eyes. <clears throat> I'm laying out some liquid latex in a circle above my eyebrow and around <clears throat> down under my eye. I apologize for my voice. It's <clears throat> been a rough week. Then I'm going to take a cotton pad like you'd use just to like clean your face and I'm gonna use that and kind of stick pieces of it in a circle around uh, where I put the latex adding a little bit more latex to make it tacky as we go Okay, so now I'm just kind of covering that back up with more latex to kind of sandwich the latex and the cotton in between. Like it's, it's like a latex cotton sandwich, and I'm kind of like shaping the um, the latex kind of raised up a little bit, so it looks like my eyeball has ri been shot or ripped out of my head. Then I'm taking a little spatula and kind of flattening out the edges to make it kind of blend more seamlessly into my skin. Like my actual face. Just a forewarning, you will not be able to open your eye with this look. You kind of see me blinking a ton. That's because my eyes are a little bit sensitive to the smell of latex. So, um, I was just having trouble keeping my eyes open, but it's all good. I only kept it on for a few minutes, so it's all okay. Then I'm just going to let that dry for a little bit, and I'm taking another cotton pad and kind of stretching it out a little bit to make it a little bit bigger and easier to work with. As you could not see me doing here, I meant to do it in front of the camera, but I did not. <laughs> and I'm just kind of re-wetting everything with some more latex so it's not too dry. And then laying that cotton pad over pieces. I'm doing it in sections. Just uh, laying it down over pieces. You'll see I kind of ripped a hole in part of it. And that was so I could like try to see a little bit. It didn't end up working like that. I did not. I was not able to see at the end of this. Here you'll see me kind of trying to cover the entire piece of cotton in the um, latex with a brush. This is just a paint brush and I'm letting things dry for a little bit. All in all, I think that this took probably about five minutes to dry when I leave for a minute. <laughs> She was having issues, so I had to go get her, and she wanted to leave me again. Miss Skylar, she's on my lap right now, so, talking about her. Okay. Alright, here we go. <laughs> now I'm taking just some black cheap cream paint, and I'm painting all around the, um, the inside, and like, almost to the edges, but not quite to the edges of that. This doesn't look like crazy, crazy realistic. But it is quite scary to look at when you look up close, so just be warned. If you have small children in your house, you might scare the crap out of them. Then I'm taking some airspun powder, and I'm just taking a stippling brush and stippling that all over where the black is to kind of make it look hollowed out and gray. I'd like to point out that I didn't let the latex dry completely. Then I'm just taking some fake blood and painting that all around the edges, and eventually I will go in and kind of dab it on top of the whole thing to kind of make it look wet and disgusting, and I'm making it kind of drip down my face just a little bit. I 
All right. Now I'm just filling in my eyebrows a little bit with some brow gel, and I believe that's all for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you all so, so much. Make sure to subscribe before you leave.